Hello gang. These glasses are terrible for reflection, so I'm really sorry. I'm actually just finished work and I am gonna do some impromptu shopping in a couple of garden centres on my way home and I thought I would bring you along with me. I just fancy having like a little chilled mooch. It's the end of the week, it's Friday, this video will be up tomorrow so I just thought it'd be a nice way to spend my Friday evening. I get to edit the video after, hopefully have a couple of new plants and get up for you guys for tomorrow. So let's just go and see what these garden centres have. So my plan was to do talking in the garden centre, but the staff were talking so loudly that I decided not to, but I also found it really awkward to be filming, but I tried really hard. But look at this monstera that was there. It was huge. I didn't see a price, but such a beautiful leaf. And they had some of these cute Tradescantia there. I've seen these before and really like how dark the foliage is. You'll have to wait till the end to see if I picked anything up. On here I spotted some Ripsalis and I'm really enjoying succulents and Ripsalis at the moment. Um, I think Charmaine from Unplant Parenthood and Alice from You Don't Even Grow Here have influenced me quite a lot. Charmaine has recently put out a full Ripsalis video and it was amazing. There are some gorgeous plants. I'll have that video linked in the description if you're interested in seeing it. I spotted this huge begonia. Look at the shape of these leaves. I thought it was so cool. And then I realised that underneath the begonia there are these plants. I can't remember the name of them, but I know Fern from Wild Fern has one of these. And I think she got a purple blooming one. And her excitement at having that plant is just so joyous to see. I spotted this Tradescantia there as well, which I really liked the variegated Tradescantia. I haven't really ever had one before, have I? No, I don't think I have. Some awkward floor filming there for you. <laughs> Over to the succulent table. That one was so pale, so white in colour, really, really cool. And then this was another Ripsala. See, I told you, I've got a bit of a thing for Ripsala, but I want a particular one that's like really dangly and trailing. And then swinging around here, there's some more begonias. I really do quite like these kind of spiky leaved ones. Really cool. I think those were some outdoor plants next to them, so quickly skirted over those. Some pretty pots. This cute little purple one. And then there's a cactus section. Really like those tall ones, they were very cool. And I always seem to like enjoy those ones with the really big spikes. I just, what puts me off is having to repot them because it's so painful <laughs> getting spiked by a cactus. <laughs> there were some more over there. I love the barrel cacti. They're really cool. And then moving around again, we come to some more of the classic houseplants, the monsteras, the ferns, calathea, all the pretty plants. And more ripsalis. These are the kind of ones I really like, but it was a little bit too bushy like I'd like it to be in a smaller pot I think and then a bit longer over in this corner they've always got a selection of citrus trees which are really cool I've never grown one before and would love to know if you've had any experience sorry that was some really fast filming there hope, <laughs> hope it didn't make you feel sick <laughs> more rip salads very very cool I like the sun stress on that one they've always got beautiful orchids here that yellow and pink is so beautiful and look there was a caladium this was the only one there and i was curious about the price so I spotted it for you 17.99 i don't think that's too bad for a caladium of this size and i'm always surprised by the texture of their leaves i always think they're going to be really thin and like tissue papery but they're actually a bit thicker than that a little blue star fern here i do really like the color of those leaves some more monstera another ripsalis <laughs> I was really impressed with their Ripsalis collection at Brackenwood, actually. This one was in bloom. Look how sweet. And then down here, we've got some more begonia, some more orchids. I can't get over the colour. So pretty. And a quick scan around the corner to the other side. I was getting closer to the till at this point where the staff were talking. And I was feeling a little bit more nervous. I, I don't know why. I just feel like I'm going to get told off. Like, I'm sure I could explain. I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> I talk about plants. And I'm sure they wouldn't mind, but I just 
I just feel like I'm gonna get told off. But anyway, <laughs> some lovely plants, more orchids, lots of white ones on this side. They've always got ivies and ferns here, um, different bachia, the purple passion plant, and and suddenly we're in a different garden center. <laughs> Sorry about the quick transition. I spotted these beautiful sunflowers as soon as I walked into Riverside and the smell was incredible. And then I turned around and there was a whole section of succulents and they branded these as like outdoor succulents, but I thought they were so cool. There was such a nice selection there. I really liked this one with the kind of slightly unusual shaped leaves and the kind of pinky stems these were really cool. I'm definitely attracted to like the silvery blue ones. And so we're heading inside here, some awkward ground filming again. <laughs> Trying not to film this person, but also following him. <laughs> Here's a nice display that they have. I really liked these, um, nope, not the Axalis, the glass terrarium. So they're like hanging ones that are big ball shaped with an opening. And I just thought, that looked really cool. I do show it in a minute, hung up uh, there. See, look how cool that is. That would, I mean, you could make such a gorgeous plant display in there and might get one. I loved this wall. They've made it a rainbow wall. It's so, so cool. All the pots, it just looks amazing. Really well done to their like visual merchandising people. It's just occurred to me as I'm doing this voiceover that it's probably for Pride Month, isn't it? I'll have to check back in July to see if that wall is still there looking as gorgeous as it does. So here are some of their other plant selections. They have this map, which is really quite cool. It kind of, it shows where the plant's natural habitat is, which I really quite like. And they have this succulent section um, with Sansevieria or I think they're, they've been reclassified as Dracaena now, haven't they? Is it Dracaena or Dracaena? Let me know in the comments. I liked that plant as well, that's a Crassula. I think I would definitely really like to add one of those to my collection, I do keep looking at them. I figured out a way that I could like film the plants below me and not look like I was obviously filming. So I'd picked up a plant at this point and <laughs> I've got the plant kind of stood on top of my phone that I'm carrying and filming with and it looks like I'm just holding my phone and holding the plant in the same hand. <laughs> oh, I do need to practice filming out in public. I really, really do. I know at this point there was a member of staff just hovering around me. And again, that feeling of being told off is so prominent for me. I, just, I really do need to work on it. Or maybe I just need to ask, like before I start filming, I need to ask a member of staff, is it okay if I film, I have a YouTube channel? And hopefully they say, yeah. <laughs> Oh, member of staff. <laughs> I really did like this fully green oxalis. I think it was like $7.99. I'm not showing it here. Oh, well, there you go. Now you can see it properly. <laughs> Again, I was kind of holding my phone pointing downwards because I was also carrying a plant trying to be all like inconspicuous with my filming. They do have a great selection of pots at Riverside and they are kind of always, um, ugh, words, colour coordinated. So... I reckon they probably would still have that rainbow wall actually. Here they've got some Calathea amaranta. This is the one that Steve's bought before and it doesn't look like this anymore. I don't really know what happened and I love this one. Is it, it's been reclassified hasn't it? Is it Geopercha? Well, I don't know how to pronounce it. I can picture the word in my head. I do really like that one and I used to have one so I bought one from Ikea for £9 and it was much bigger than that one and that one cost £9.50. The one I had died a death from thrips and I am still sad about it. There's another abrupt transition coming your way now. Hey, I've changed my glasses because the other ones have, the reflection is so bad. You can't see, can't see marbles. Um, <laughs> I feel like this is going to be the most shortest video ever. Once I got into the garden centre, it's like, before I went in, I was like, I'm going to film in there. I'm going to talk. I'm going to, I'm going to be that YouTuber. It didn't happen. I think partly because the first one I went into, so the first one was Brackenwood, and I guess it's like the end of the day, the staff were gathering around the tills, they were having like a chat, they were quite loud. <laughs> so I, like I didn't want them chatting in the back of the video, so I just figured I'll do a voiceover. Um, yeah, and then when I went to Riverside Garden Centre, I was just like, 
I felt too self-conscious. I just, just felt too self-conscious. But I did get a couple of things, so let me show you those. I know this video is going to be really wobbly as well because I'm holding you, you're not on a tripod. I'm sorry about that. I just, I've got things to do. <laughs> so I got, I, can you even, can you call it a haul if it's not that many things? I don't know. I feel like a haul is like a lot of things. I got one plan and I got two pots. So I'm going to show you the pots first. You all know I love my glass, no drainage vessels, but I have got some plants that are in drainage and I have been wanting like a, li a little bit of a pop of colour on, on the shelves slash in the cabinet. And I spotted these and I thought, why not? So I got this teeny little purple pot. It's Ivy Line, the brand. So, so cute. I like the shape. I like the colour. It was two ninety nine, which I don't know. Is that a good price? <laughs> Didn't seem too bad. I hope I'm not going to have second thoughts because I didn't get a receipt. <laughs> and then the other one I got is an Elho. Is that how you say it? Elho? A little yellow one um, that's ribbed and a bit bigger. And I just thought I could have a couple of little plants with a little bit of pops of colour on the shelves. I'm not going to be straying away from like black, white, green <laughs> substrate colour <laughs> on the shelves. But I just, a little bit, maybe it's because it's like spring, summer. I just want like a, just some little pops of colour, you know. And then the plant that I got, I'm definitely having a moment with succulents. I'm admitting it, it's happening. I got this. So it is an Oscularia del deltoids. It's this kind of shape. I liked the kind of angularness of it and I liked the, the kind of pinky, pinky purple stems. And the picture shows that it blooms these really cool flowers. And it was £4.50 and I thought, why not? It was in the outdoor garden section, so you didn't did, did I, I, I think I filmed a little bit in the outdoors bit. But I don't want to put it outdoors. I don't think it'll survive very long on the balcony because nothing ever does. So I'm hoping it'll be happy on my south facing window with my other succulents. But um, I'm intrigued to see how it grows. I've been keeping it separate because I haven't checked for like pests yet. But I will. But yeah, that was, that was my haul. Those three things. It was nice to put around the garden centres after work. It's been, it's been a week and today, apart from like two hours this morning when I had a colleague in, but the rest of the day, it was just me in my team and it had like three referrals come in. It's just, it's been, it's been a day. It's been a day. <laughs> so it was a really lovely way to start my weekend. I am now going to make myself a cup of tea. I am going to edit this video and get it uploaded and you will be watching it tomorrow morning. <laughs> if you enjoy plant shopping videos, give this one a thumbs up. I was doing, like, I was doing them not fairly regularly. I've got, I've got a playlist. I will link it at the end of the video. I've got a playlist of places to shop in Bristol and I was trying to get better at filming out in public and talking and I've definitely had a long period of time where I haven't done that and so I feel like I want to start doing it again so if you if you do want to see more of those videos give this one a thumbs up check out my other ones subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next one thank you for watching bye